What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're on my Shadow PC here, and of course the boost here is the only thing available in my area. Now as far as my settings, I'm just running my 60 megabits per second on my stream quality. No adapting uh, for network conditions. I don't want to change anything on me while I'm testing. And uh, you can see my frame rate over there, which of course will jump up to whatever frame rate uh, games or whatever uh, are running at to match it. Uh, bandwidth is doing pretty good for where we're at on desktop latency is holding pretty well for me and no packet loss there so jumping into the world here of new world looking at our settings first we're starting off at 1440p medium now we're going to go through quite a few settings so hang with me here for about three or four minutes and we're going to go through all these i want to talk about the hardware a little bit and what what we're seeing here with these settings and what's going on with new world because the game is playable but barely you're going to notice with everything we do here we are completely cpu bound so at 1440p medium which is normally where i would want to play something like this on shadow you're never going to push the gpu and you're always going to be cpu bound and you can see that a lot in the frame timeline as well down there that should pretty much be a flat line uh and it's all over the place due to the cpu and and the usage there now I was hoping that I could find a setting that would help correct that, but this game is just way too CPU bound to even get it to run better. You you pretty much are going to be stuck with what you're stuck with here. So I switch over to 1080p uh, to do some settings as well. I know a lot of you want to be able to see that and you'll see we dropped all the way down to 36% on the GPU usage right there because what we've done is take even more pressure off the GPU right because resolution is a big part of what hits your GPU so we we put even more pressure on the on the ever aging CPU here now for the fun of it we're going to play around with some settings in 1080 before we go back to 1440 so let's do low now let me let, let me tell you I did a lot of testing the reason why this video is kind of late coming out is the queue for this game and what I did to make sure we didn't have any in-game issues with changing the settings and performance, I had to leave the game and restart it a few times, and I did this on the, my local PC as well to make sure we didn't have any snags or anything happening without a game restart with all these changes, and indeed no no issues. Whether I restart the game or I do it right here, we have the same result. And you can see here 1080p, low setting. What do we got here? Pretty much the same result that we would have. All we do is keep taking pressure off of the GPU and putting more on the CPU, which is already too slow and not powerful enough to to push frames here for the game now let's have a little bit of fun forget very high we're not going to look at very high with shadow there's no point let's just go to high uh for the fun of it here because i think this is interesting as well and we'll let everything load in here and uh and and level out but you'll you'll see uh see that 100 see the cpu is just even getting things loaded in even if you had a faster hard drive here uh it would be what it what it would be here now here we are high 1080p and you basically have the same same thing we're not getting huge differences by changing these um settings around because of the amount of cpu bound we are and this is making it worse if you look at the percentage used on the cpu we've we all we've done here really is make it even worse and put more pressure on so if if you get into some other areas of this game especially later on i'm really worried about bigger cities bigger combat areas um where more frame drops and issues could happen but Let's go over to 1440p. Let's get back to where I would normally play and test Shadow. 1440p is the sweet spot, and Shadow does typically run better at 1440 than it does 1080, mostly because of that CPU, and uh, the resolution helps to take some pressure off there. But you'll see a little bit more GPU usage now because we're back to 1440p, but still so much CPU bound that we just can't hold a high enough percentage to hold a stable or higher frame rate. We'll go back into our settings again here. And we're going to go back to uh, to medium. Let's that, That's just where I'm going to leave this game if I'm playing it on Shadow. I think you've seen enough here to tell. Um, you know, 1080p or 1440p, I would probably just go medium. Um, I'll be playing 1440p medium anytime I jump on Shadow if I'm, if I'm trying to do something with this. But I thought this was interesting uh, to go through and show you guys. I hope you find this helpful um, and useful for, for playing New World on Shadow. And hope, hopefully you're enjoying the game. Now, what I want to do is run out of here and show you. Look at that GPU usage. Now, as we leave the city the little town here and we go outside where we're rendering much less and there's a lot less people running around you'll see we get more gpu usage of course and a little better frame rate's going to start to happen uh, as soon as i turn around though and look at the city you'll see a huge drop because it starts to try to render all that back in <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just depending on what you're doing, there's going to be so many areas of the game that react differently. Like I said, I am worried about later on the game becoming less playable than it is in the beginning area. But at least right now, even though it's not great, it is a playable situation. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful for you for New World on Shadow. As always, thanks a lot for coming to watch, and I'll see you guys in the next one.